Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. You're not even near the mic, so it's not I, even horrible. But look at the mechanism pulling things. <laughs> <laughs> Balls. Look at these balls in my hand. I got, I got you balls. Jitsu's got balls in I his hand. I got Duke's balls in my hand. Whoa. I got Duke's blue Jesse, balls. Jesse, stop feeling my balls. I can't, Mr. White. They feel too good. I can't, Jesse. I can't Mr. Jesse, White. Make keep going. Really thing. <laughs> Jesse, keep going. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. Walter. Jesse, oh, God. Oh, crushed okay. my shaft. We got it. Okay, now that that's out of our system. <laughs> Hi, it's my hand. I'm... Hello, <laughs> <laughs> S. I am Duke. And today we're back with another episode of Pokemon Zeros! I love. Tucker! All, 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 all this. Tucker! 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 <laughs> I love seeing like this uber Hispanic attire, and then it's like, what's his name? My name's Tucker. How Tucker. you doing? And we're finally leaving the ghost village! I'm so happy! Finally! It's they're still here! <laughs> I'M BACK IN THE FUCKING BUILDING! <laughs> oh, train! Oh, it's the rest of the fucking town! Is everything Yay! Ready? The other fucked up hot lady! There's my apples. It's the same hot lady! Hey, well! Well, no, I'm saying we've been with a hot lady the entire time. Now, other hot lady. QQ6, you stay here and keep an eye on the conductor! Conductor, we have a problem! <laughs> oh, I don't think you do it anywhere! Give it out tight, we be bound him! Yeah! QQC! I... I don't know. Business. Business. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. Thanks to the Quasar Express, no one will be able to stop us. Ah, uh, dog me. The dog barking might stop us. Herdier and... And Stoutland. <laughs> we'll get to the temple in no time. Stop squirming, old man. This train belongs to Team Dimension now. Biz. It's a dimensional train. Hey, can I ask why he's Indian? Huh? Oh, that was a Russian, but close enough. <laughs> that was also, not a Russian. Conductor, yell, scream for help, conductor. <laughs> I'm going this way. Ah! <laughs> Daycare it is. <laughs> Wait, station. you said scream for help? Ah! That's not scream for help. That's a war call. Here's the Come from the ice. Come from the land of the ice and snow. You're not gonna talk to anyone. <laughs> Why would I do that? All right. Where's the three? I'm a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa that speaks with two voices at the same time. <laughs> I am an old man. Hi, I get Ah! I'm a hipster. <laughs> I love the hipster in this game. He's so stupid. I have a mother. I'm not. <laughs> no, I love that. I'm a mother. I'm not. <laughs> Correct. You guys wanted me to talk to them so bad. Oh, shit. The Nihai's keep crying, but maybe a little battle is such as Yammer. Do you have my welfare check? The Nihai? That's a, that's a funny way to, that's a funny term of endearment. Are you? Child. Redneck. <laughs> you got a fucking Gengar? Real quick, that, that means that that's a trainer class. Redneck. 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 Yeah. So, Sonny, do you, Sonny, do you oh, no, have dead. my welfare check? I'm not dead, let's go. Ah, I'm fucked. Also, turn down the TV. Perfect. Spawner! <laughs> that is good for you as it was for me. Don't say that. I'll say it again. No. Hard! Hard! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh my god, it's been so long that we forgot about that joke. <laughs> you're, you're a fan of me, Gengar, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen it. <laughs> you're, you're a fan of me, Spawner, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so... I don't, you remember that movie, The Lighthouse, Duke? With yeah. with Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe, friend. I remember. Well, there's an entire scene where he's just like, if if I had a steak. This is literally Robert Pattinson's character in, <laughs> in Lighthouse. If I had a steak, I'd I'd fuck it. I'd <laughs> fuck it. He like was losing his goddamn mind. Cause he's yeah, just been the having the same. Point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the whole plot of the movie is that he loses his mind. <laughs> but it's just funny how he's just like he's. He's just sick of having the same food, and he's just like <laughs> craving a steak. So that's and why. And there's a question that. of whether it's an actual supernatural element up to it. Yeah. Or not. But but he's going, and and he's just like, I can't eat any of this terrible food anymore. And Willem Dafoe's just like, No, 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 no. You did not just say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. No, no, no. It's, it's good. good. Say it. Say it. 
Say my food is good. No, it's not good. Say it. You're a fan of me lobster. <laughs> You're a fan of me lobster, ain't you? I know I see it. it. <laughs> and then, and then Willem Dafoe's character acts like a, a broken-hearted wife. What type is this motherfucker? He's like, he's, he's, he's my grandpa did not like it apparently. Ghost psychic. Yeah, yeah. But then, <laughs> no, I see it. You, you a fan of me lobster. Hark! <laughs> then he starts cursing him. He's like, May Poseidon take you down to the deepest levels of the trenches! <laughs> and he just Curse like, you, Robert Pattinson! Basically, yeah. <laughs> I hope you go crazier in this year, fucking. Lighthouse. I forgot the name of the movie. That's it. Uh, you, you got it. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. the funny thing I got to see is the fact that uh, Robert Pattinson, people noted the fact that, like, Everyone always feels like a mix when it comes to his acting. Like sometimes, of so just like because he's there's, a, there's obviously like, you can mix the joke about Twilight. Yeah, there's the obvious joke with Twilight. there's the obvious joke with Twilight, and the fact that like most movies he's generally in are that kind of edge. Yeah, where he has <laughs> the Batman. To, yeah, he has to have something up his ass. <laughs> Something's in my ass. Yeah, uh. <laughs> but. No one gave complaints about his voice acting. Yeah. He, he's been doing a lot of voice in? actor. He was in The Boy and the Heron. I haven't he watched it yet. played the Heron. I haven't watched it, but I know that people say that he did a really good job. Have you heard his, uh, like, it, because the one that everybody shares is that beginning one from the trailer of him as the Heron yelling out for the boy. I have not heard that. I think that the boy's like, name is, like, Kanjiro or something like that. Kanjiro! Does he do that? Kanjiro. Oh, he does that voice. <laughs> and it I is need to watch Boy in the harsh. Hair. Yeah. Also, I think if I remember correctly, um, fucking Mark Hamill and Willem Dafoe are in that movie, and Dave Bautista, and Dave Bautista. That's incredible. It's a, it's like a it's a who's who. The same way that Didn't Christian Liam, Bale just Liam Neeson in... was in a uh... <laughs> yeah Christian Bale is fucking Howl. Howl. Yeah, he's Howl. Liam Howl Neeson's again. in one. Like it just I'm Batman. Batman. <laughs> he felt bad of there Taz! were Taz! great Pokemon. I, I felt Taz! bad that um, there wasn't a famous actress that the only place, unfortunately, that I knew her from was Halloween Town. Which and one? She's the, the grandma. Obvious one. The name of oh, she plays the I believe um, either old Sophie or the witch from Howl's Moving Castle. Hey, Dirk, what's the name of the actress? I don't remember her name is what I've said. Oh, no, I didn't, fucking, I didn't hear it. You, fucking, I, you know what I was expecting you hey, to say? I know, you know, uh, Carrie Fisher's mother. I thought you were about to say the oh, name. Carrie Fisher's mom was, um, Abigail Fisher. No, Reynolds. Abigail Debbie, Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds. What's the name of the, is that the name? I believe mm -hmm. so, but, uh, basically, uh, she's in Howl's Moving Castle. As the old lady? Yeah. That's cool. As also, a, dude, as I completely as the, as the miss cool, him. As the cool old lady or the ugly old, old lady? That's what, I'm <laughs> That's what I'm trying to remember. Like, yeah, no, is it the witch or is it Sophie? Yeah. I completely no, misunderstood. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the witch of the West or the master, the teacher of Howl. The teacher. Uh, yeah, no, there's three old ladies. I always forget that. <laughs> because it's technically <laughs> Sophie's, <laughs> Sophie's not an old lady. She looks like a voice. She, she's cursed. She has a different actress for her voice, though. Remember? Oh. That's what I'm saying. So, so that could also be one of them. It's so not just me know. misinterpreting you, Duke. <laughs> No one understands. But imagine my mom, <laughs> imagine my mom's reaction when I say, "Hey, mom, uh, who's uh, uh, Debbie Reynolds?" And she almost shot me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a nowadays equivalent of who's who, who's um who's Scarlett Johansson. Who's Chris Evans? <laughs> Someone who did a pretty pretty solid uh, Optimus Prime. Solid Optimus Prime. Who? Oh. Chris Hemsworth. I say the best part is the fact that he actually does really sound like a young uh, uh, Peter Cullen. The funny thing is that in the beginning of the movie, everybody's just like, oh, great, he's doing his thing again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Different stops with the Quasar Express made a West Star Hip Hyperion. Wait, Hyp... Hyp... Hyperion? Hark! 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 Just go to the Pokemon Center. Don't use our items. What? Save them for battle. Hoverbot! It's on F5 for some fucking reason, even though there's like a million. Oh, 
Electabuzz! I love using Electivire in Legends Arceus. Especially... Grandma Sophie was voiced by Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons? Who did? The singer of Kiss? No. <laughs> <laughs> I will look up Gene Simmons uh, to find something that she's done that you guys would know. Kiss! <laughs> She appeared predominantly in films beginning with uh, those made in Britain during and after the Second World War, yeah, followed mainly by Hollywood films from 1950 onwards. Where? <laughs> Alright, what are these God guys gonna be again? Damn. These areas are limits, bitch. Hey, you're not human, the colonel was talking about. Exterminate. 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 1948 Hamlet, Blue Lagoon, So Long at the Fair, Angel Face, Young Bess. The Rogue, The Big Country, Elmer, Gantry, oh, Spartacus, and from the 1960s. She was in she, Spartacus, yeah. Oh, you got, and uh, Source is, uh, is uh, fine type, so you can do Earthquake, right? You have Earthquake, right? Yeah, yes, I do have Earthquake. I do have Earthquake, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're lying to me, you <laughs> You don't know, got shit. What is this music? What are you talking about? It's a bop. I'll say that. I was streaming a Digimon the other day, and um, when it came to uh, the music that was suddenly playing, yeah. it was like an actual like J-pop song. And I was like, <laughs> wait, this is sick. Why hasn't Hatsune Miku been with Digimon? Huh? She's a digital star. You'd be surprised what has been with Digimon. You're ignorant to Digimon and you're asking questions about there's Digimon? A, there's a reference to, uh, you know that classic about... Fucker! Uh, you know that classic about how Lion King stole from a Kimba Japanese... The Kimba the White Lion. The anime he comes from, his dad is referenced in Digimon. Mufasa? No, Kimba. The white... Uh, Kimba's dad. James Earl Jones? Yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> uh, and... It's a very simple reference. Wait, just... wait, wait, go back to that guy down below. Talk to him. 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 You fuck. <laughs> Oops. Joltik. Oops. I love it, Joltik. Can I kill it, though? No, he's electric type. It's electric. Do, 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 do. But I did just the name of that Team the, Dimension grunt. The name of uh, Kimba's father in the original show is Panja. Ah. And so there is a Panjamon. His name is N-O-P-4. Nope. <laughs> Nopa. Nopa. Nope. But it, there's a Panjamon, and it's just a white Leomon. Oh, those are Team Dimension grunts. Yeah, I was just like... I was like, why are these sideways Voltorbs? <laughs> nope 2, Nope 3, Nope 1, and Nope 4. Yeah. What is it? The Nope Squad. Uh, human, are you here to free the old man? You're delusional. I don't know, don't know. <laughs> Time to get hit with reality. <laughs> All of his Pokemon are nicknamed for reality. <laughs> oh, back to time. So, what's his grandma so? Get that shorts out of here, Juan. Get those Japanese letters off of me. Get those brownies out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that I, like, I came up with the idea for how it's actually made, and then, oh no, this guy's been actually doing it, and he's been making a ton of videos about it, and they're hilarious. God damn it! <laughs> The shape press is put into a shape to shape the press. Into a press shape. <laughs> Numinos, what the fuck? <laughs> so many, so many electric types. Yeah. Thankfully, we got a ground type in the last time we were in. Do you prefer your evil team to have dark types or like a different type? As long as there's a theme. Oh, <laughs> cause, Cause like Even though Or do you prefer the theme to have nothing to do with <laughs> With the Pokemon types Like how technically Team Magma and Team Aqua use a lot of dark types And poison types Yeah but they also use Like Numel and Carvana, Carvana. Yeah. I, I prefer that way Like a very light theme Where it's like they don't 
they're not strictly one type that you can just bulldoze through. They at least have some range with it. Yeah, because usually like the evil or like team types. Yeah, because because like I'm sorry, Team Flare. They're primarily fire types. And you know what the most popular Pokemon of that region is? The water starter. Greninja. <laughs> It's- I'm sorry, but X and Y is so perfectly made for Greninja. It's so perfectly made. The fact that you can get- uh, that when it first came out, you can get the Mega Blaziken. So, you get a Water Starter, a Torchic, and then you also get a free Gen 1 starter from- from Professor Sycamore. And you can get Bulbasaur. So that's half your team right there, just immediately, and it's- an amazing team already. <laughs> it's so weird just how Chestnut and Delphox are just so bad and the games knew it. <laughs> yeah. Like, they, they made Greninja for Smash Brothers, not for Pokemon, for fucking Smash Brothers. They, yes. made, they made Greninja for Smash Brothers and and then they just, like, didn't care. Like, they had all the time in the world to make two starters with, with all the time in the world. And, and that's what they made. They didn't fucking do anything. Also, Jinzu, I finally remembered what Lysander's goal is in X. And, and not that I remembered, I fucking looked it up. He wants to give everyone eternal life. He doesn't want to kill everyone. Yeah, he thinks, and, he thinks the weapon will... Will give everyone eternal life. And then in Y, he wants everyone to die. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was very confused. I was like, why is this guy who never played X so confused about X's ending and he's conf mixing it with Y's ending? <laughs> <laughs> Read it in your lines, Jesus. No, no, you skipped over him. And show the alert, Biz. <laughs> Inform the colonel immediately. Biz. Hi, conductor. Oh. Do you want to untie me? Do you want to untie me? Conductor, we you can't possibly leave the conductor like that. Sure I can. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got it. No, oh, and... <laughs> you can't leave the conductor. And yeah, I can confirm. I've just been reading and just like trying to figure out who did who. Yeah, it is De Debbie Reynolds who did. Wait a second! Yes. Wait, 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 wait! Look at his design. His eyes. What if he's the dad of the other of the two dudes on the Ingo, train in Univa? Ingo and and Dingo and and Luigi. His <laughs> conductor. We have a problem. Oh, you have my deepest gratitude, kid. I am the conductor of the quasar. Jitsu is everyone this episode. <laughs> oh, well, I was before oh, well. those masked goons arrival. I'm just fucking damn. I forgot his name. Who is the older Death? Who is the older Ghost Rider? Yeah, who is the older Ghost Rider? I keep in... forgetting his name, but he's an awesome actor that I love. Who's the the mustache? The guy with the big mustache. And what? he talks like this. He's and also it... the older Ghost Rider. I can't remember his oh! name. Oh. Talking Clint Eastwood? No, 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 no. no the, the other oh, guy. that fucking awesome cowboy dude. I never remember yeah. the name of. Yeah, Ghost Rider. He, he was also he was also the the dad fucking T Rex in the stupid dinosaur movie. Yeah, which is really funny. Yes. Yo. Cast. I'm, I got. I'm pulling it up right now. <coughs> Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Sam. Sam Elliott. A correction of uh, Debbie Reynolds was in a uh, Gilly movie, but not the Gilly movie I imagine. No, apparently Kiki's Delivery Service. Still haven't seen that one. Very interesting. And also hearing the story of just like, oh yeah, no, she's uh, the mother of Carrie Fisher and also a massive fucking actress that was like, back in her day, was in everything. It's very interesting that Carrie Fisher, like her mom has a completely different name from her, she has a different name, and then her daughter also has a completely different uh, name. Oh, it's because Debbie Reynolds separated from her husband uh, due to him cheating on her. But like, also, but then the same, like, but, but then also, Carrie Fisher's daughter doesn't have her last name. Yeah. It's very, it's very interesting to see that. Sometimes it's married names. Yeah. <laughs> Read the lines! <laughs> no, we went on, we digressed for too long. The fucking screen has been still for like two minutes. So we can't Order read! Minutes. <laughs> the Order of Minions would tie me up so she could take control of my train. Though she wasn't alone, there were soldiers. Are we gonna get a trade battle? There was a man with her. A man whose gaze froze the blood in my veins. Ooh. From the way he spoke, I suppose his rank was higher than the woman's. The Quasar Express is a piece of history of our region. Can't let it fall into the wrong hands. I'm desperately asking you, kid, to free this train from the fangs of evil. 
Joke's on you. Trains are I'll too heavy for what I can. Person. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll do what I can from the station by monitoring the route followed by the train. You should act by quietly sneaking around. Go forth, youngin. I believe in you. Where's that bitch? <laughs> Wait, check that out. Check that out. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a spree. No, oh, he's still out there. I don't know why. That voice somehow hurt me. <laughs> why would he be there? Why would he be gone when everyone else is still there? Because the he was scared of the conductor. Hey, the dumb, wait for me. Phew! Thank the heavens. I managed to jump on the train before it departed. Once I heard that the Quasar Express was being hijacked, I immediately ran here without thinking. I was sure I would meet you here. Right, Pikachu? Guys, it's your girlfriend. It's my girlfriend! <laughs> Let's not waste any more of our precious time. Also, her face is literally our character's face also. Yeah. What? Yeah, that thing I said. <laughs> but here we go. We got a double. But you know, I, I remember uh, when we first met her and like had a whole quest with her. It just said something like "love is blooming" for a quest. Yeah, <laughs> love interest. It's so dark out here. You guys, anything? Where Saji's lighter when you need it. Ah, uh, sorry, rain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're taking on a trade battle. I can't see shit. Pokemon battles, the worst place to have a train I say setting. How did I even like you get here? I'll blow you away like sands on the wind. <laughs> Team Dimension. I do find it funny the number of scenes that it's like uh, every Sanji fan is just like, this is one of the best scenes in the show. And for you, it's just like, ah, it's right. It's fine. He's him on in the, the train now. In the it's rain. kind of cool, but... Him in the rain, uh, like, uh, after... In putting... the rain! No, they point out, like, one of the saddest scenes of just, like, him, like, uh, trying to light his cigarette, uh, after Pudding's reveal. Oh, yeah. That, that's a good one. That is a good scene, yeah. 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 In other words, every scene that is good of his, uh, that you agree with, is post-time skip. Yes! Sanji... Everyone else is just like, yeah, that's okay. Sanji post-time skip is so much better! He's such a better character now. I do still disagree with you because I think that that is still one of the sickest scenes Actually, when it came to Water 7. Actually, you can because you're not allowed to have opinions. <laughs> it's the oh, internet. only may have <laughs> oh! I, The one I disagree about is Water 7 when it's like him catching the train. That is the sickest fucking scene. It's cool. Of him suddenly getting lit up by the lighter. It's cool, but I'm just like, alright, oh, what really is Sanji gonna do? <laughs> what is Sanji gonna do? And then he ran through the train. Yeah. I mean, what about the scene where he fucking uh, ran through that one cart where it was just sh a shit ton of marines and he k uh, beat the fuck out of all of them? I'm sorry, but any and all of those moments got immediately devalued the second Noodle man. Zoro do the slice. <laughs> yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. If you're a fan of Zoro, you're usually like not a fan of Sanji. Not a big fan of Sanji. Not a big fan of the cook. <laughs> It's kind of funny of uh, people mention that when it comes to like say Naruto and uh, One Piece. Oh, they look at that and it's just like, oh, if you're a fan of One Piece, you hate Naruto. If you're a fan of Naruto, you hate One Piece, kind of thing. And they're constantly clashing. <laughs> those two fan bases. Meanwhile, the creators, best friends. Yeah. <laughs> we both like Dragon Ball. <laughs> like, uh, apparently, what was it? Uh, the creator of Naruto, he wanted to write a very specific story of like. Uh, basically an island in the sky and then Skypea happened and he went fuck Wowzers! He beat me to it! The dumb! Maybe <laughs> this one's a motherfucker! <laughs> See you later! But it's the funniest reaction of just like Ikamoto just like ah oh, damn it he beat me to it! Again! <laughs> damn it. The, the only thing that uh, Naruto beat when it came to One Piece was and getting the name Naruto. Oh that's her. Sanji was supposed to be Naruto. Ha! <laughs> that would have been funny if he still just kept it. <laughs> he just kept it. Yes. Which one's the more popular Naruto now? <laughs> uh, Naruto. It would, make so, it would make so much more sense for the chef to be named after food than the magical ninja boy. On, imagine they yeah. did a trade and Naruto is now called Sanji and Sanji is now Naruto. <laughs> it's unfortunate that his siblings are, killed, are still called Yanji and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I. So if Beldum isn't levitating. Yeah. God. Why the fuck is he up there? <laughs> I think when it's levitate, I think. My my head. When he's cannon... not levitating, he lands on those three little spikes and just. 
Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it just a foot? Is it just a boot? Or I, my head cannon for when you don't have levitate is that you're you're too low to the ground, so that ground type stuff can hit you, like like the the tectonic pieces of the ground yeah. smack up and hit you. But yeah. when you have levitate, you're higher up. But Mitang, Middle Girls never got levitate. Yeah. So, so like the even like a Magnemite who doesn't have levitate, like he's still floating, but he can still get hit by ground type moves. So that's my that's my reasoning for that's it. That's why I like Sandy Shocks better. It's funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> With its movable magnet legs. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I see that happening, like when it's metal picking being picked up and it's that little like shavings thing. It's honestly like I wanna pet that. <laughs> you haven't? I like I like that they gave Sandy Shocks a top knot, but the top knot is the magnetic dust. It's the iron, yeah. <laughs> iron dust. Yeah. I was, and... I was gonna say, wait, you haven't? You haven't messed around with that? I wanna d Yes I have! Good. I was gonna say you. My first thought is I must, and then I do. <laughs> and then you do. I was gonna say, I just think they remember Huh? That... He's alive? Yeah. I remember uh, uh my dad uh, had some real powerful magnets when I was younger, and so I would honestly just walk into the dirt, pff, chuck it in, and then just rub it around until I got a shit ton of iron shavings. You just found a box with a ball in it. Ball in it. <laughs> I'm gonna box your ball. What? A bit shy, didn't you? <laughs> oh, hey yeah. guys, you have the answers you know to the. I got a question for the boys in the, the room. I got a question for the boys in the room. You ever just dig a big hole? I've dug. I I remember digging yeah. a big hole. What's the biggest hole you ever dug? About about four feet. It was a big hole. Six feet. You 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 buried a man? <laughs> yeah. You killed a man? <laughs> no, I just think they remember the. Okay, wait. Here's another one. Yeah. It was it, yours was four foot deep. How wide was it? Four feet. It was four by four. I did shovel shovel. Okay, I made basically an underground clubhouse. <laughs> you fucking did. Like the size <laughs> of the room bitch. we're currently you in. the shores. The size of the room we're currently in. Double that. <sighs> was this in Vietnam? No, this was at was uh, my old house. <laughs> <laughs> so I dug the trenches back in uh, uh, back in World War One. There were three thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jensen? What's the biggest hole you ever dug? You dug a you dig hole? Not that big. Hmm. Fucking pussy. Oh, so how big was it? <laughs> what you how big was that hole then? Not very big. Like, hand? What, was it with a trowel? No, I always, I always dug with my hands. And then, like, uh, there, there were a couple times where I dug with a shovel, but that was to bury things. Oh. <laughs> mm. And that was hearing this. Uh, your application to the boys has been denied. We're going to have to take your penis now. <laughs> no. And then, and then every time you go to the beach, there's always someone who goes, "No, I should have brought a shovel." <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, "No, Jitsu, we gotta get take you to the to the beach so we can dig a hole." <laughs> Literally, <laughs> go earn your penis. Yeah, back. That, that's that's where I'm digging with my hands. I'm literally just. <laughs> <laughs> but I distinctly remember. Uh, it, like, my dad was saying, like, oh, yeah, you guys can make a little clubhouse for yourself. And we had, like, this wall set up and everything. And we just kept digging. And kept digging. <laughs> and just kept going. So there was a wall. And then once you walk around the wall, because there were only two walls when it came down to it. It was yeah. only two walls. You walk around and you just see this giant fucking hole the size of these middle schoolers. <laughs> like, the... <laughs> oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God! Finally! Finally! That's why I got mad when it died. <laughs> <laughs> Our source! Our strony is our source! Hiya! It's finally worth having on this fucking team! Yeah! What's our discharge? It's electric type! Actually, it's still pure flying type, but it has ability that makes it electric type. Yeah! Which is why I hate it! <laughs> <laughs> but finally! <laughs> source! Yeah! And on that amazing thing, we're gonna be summarizing this horse! What? Oh, what? the UV light. Oh, yeah. From memory, I think it was like 20 feet long. <laughs> this Pokemon becomes electric type when HP is halved. Wait, this is a brave nature. Fuck! That's, <laughs> that's a, that's a slow ass horse right there. <laughs> 
where we're going to be dealing with this disappointment next time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more and we'll catch you yeah. next time. Do we have a fully evolved team now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So who are we getting rid of and evolving next time? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. We'll figure that out next question. time. That's a good question. Careful with the pressing because he's about to click on. Hold on.